All right, so Chris, serious question here. Do you want me to call you King Prather or King Shark? King Shark sounds pretty dope, to be honest. All right, well, then that's what I would call you. So, King Shark, you had some time to decompress. Are you ready to defend your crown? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now, and uh, it's going to be really interesting to watch this next match. You know, I, I'm going to try to be as still as possible because an angry Pete ends up winning everything. So, I don't need him yelling at me while I'm sitting up there. That's a good strategy right there. All right, go ahead and have a seat on your throne, and um, let's get to this match because it's going to be. Thanks, Dave. It's now time for Do You Know the Pros, presented by Go Bowling. Do you know which pro has the letters THB tattooed on his forearms? And you get bonus points if you know what it stands for. Is it I'm going to start with PDW first because you know what? This night might not have went, ended the way that you wanted to, but everybody in America was super excited to have you back on television. So talk to me a little bit about what this event was like for you. Well, it was very nerve-wracking to start because, you know, it's been a long time since I bowled on live TV like this. You know, I know I bowl the league, but uh, I have four other guys to back me up there, so it's a little easier to do. But when you're out, you're out here bowling by yourself, you know, that first couple shots for me were, I was a little nervous. But once I got those in, I calmed down and I threw the ball really good for the you rest did. of the night. You did. You bowled very well. What do you think of this guy right here? How talented is he? You know, they say Belmo's the man. That's the man right there. He uh, he wins all the big ones. I mean, come on, he's made two hundred thousand la the last couple of years. Okay, th there you have it. I know Belmo like the big majors, but so does Chris. So, I think Chris right now is the man to beat. Wow, that's a that's a big compliment right there coming from Pete Weber. So, Chris, what do you think about what uh, Pete just said about you? That's uh, incredibly high praise, and I really thank you for those kind words. But now i got to live up to those words and uh, keep performing out here on the lanes. That's a lot of pressure right there. So let's talk about the match that you guys just have. He was not letting off with that pressure. You guys were even through seven. Totally different you than what we saw in the first few matches. So what changed? Uh, bowling Pete Weber is what changed. Uh, I knew that no matter what the score was, he was going to be giving it 100% every single shot. And uh, he's one of the most competitive people to ever bowl. Uh, so, you know, whether he's bowled on live TV recently or not, doesn't matter. He's going to, you know, I, he had 250 going in, into the 10th and pocket 710. So I knew I was going to have to strike a lot, and I was very fortunate to do so. Well, this was a well-earned win for you. Congratulations, King Shark. Thank you. Careful, AP. Your Highness. So, Sean, before the show, I saw you sitting on the throne doing some social media, talking on the phone. You look mighty comfortable over here. So how confident are you coming into tonight after last night's spectacular 289 finish? Yeah, I bowled really good last night, and hopefully that hopefully it's all night. Well, you got a great seat to watch that first match, and good luck in yours. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks so much. Say that. Thanks, Dave. Well, it's now time for Do You Know the Pros, sponsored by Go Bowling. Do you know which pro was actually a manager at Wendy's when he won his very first PBA Tour title? All right, so Chris, you were pretty vocal in both your matches, um, and I'm not thinking that it was good vocal. You seemed a little upset, so how would you describe your performance? Uh, slightly above par, uh, for the most part. Uh, basically, every time that I threw it poorly, it, did, it never had a chance to strike except for the first couple shots against Sean on the right lane, but uh, that just, I was matched up and got very, very fortunate towards the end there where he pocket 7-10 and then flat 10. Well, you did walk away with the win and the crown, so you can go ahead and take a seat on that throne because you won't have to defend it at least for a few more minutes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Kimberly.